I bet with Internet only. They're a fantastic site. I've never had any issues with them. They are very professional. There's never a problem. You deposit money, two seconds later it's in your account. You withdraw, which I do very occasionally. And uh, I believe it's also two seconds it's in your account. Welcome back for race number three over 1600 meters. 13.30 is the carded off time. It will be the opening leg of the pick six. And before we give the numbers for race number three, let's go to the interview package. Byron Foster, MJ Udendal, and also introducing trainer Duncan Hells. For his dream, a very good comeback run after a long break. Um, he's been doing really well at home and uh, obviously the Hasn't been ideal the last two to three weeks, but everyone's in the same boat. But uh, he's been a horse that we do use a lot of the treadmill on. So fitness-wise, we think he's in a good space. And uh, the mile trip, we're uh, slowly getting to, to his right sort of distance. Um, I think he'd be very competitive. Yeah, this um, obviously with all the rain that we've had, this is, this is much more a prep run for him. Um, I think a mile is a little bit sharp for him. But uh, there's, there's a 2-4 coming in 17 days. and, and this is more a prep run for him for the 1700, I mean for the 2 4. Um, as we've had so much rain, you know, just to get a run under the belt helps. But I saw last time out, he missed the break from a wide draw and uh, he over raced on the turn and then was caught wide out. Didn't finish too far back in the race and I feel that uh, even though he's drawn wide in the eight horse field, Stop also will go forward and uh, he must have a first three chance. Well, that's just summarized it spot on for me. Number three, Karari's dream, the four-year-old son of Karari, started his career very late on from the Andre Nell stable. But the key to this race is the fitness. And you heard from the team, they've been working him on the treadmill. And after that cracking second to Attaboy, which was his local debut in KwaZulu Natal, he ran on very strongly at the business end. The average rating was a 73. And the form line has been franked. The third placed horse called Night Jaws come out to win. Lash LaRue and also Morning Chess. And as I mentioned, Serena Mudley sitting on a 10 or 11% win strike rate and a 30% play strike rate. Looking at everything being equal, number three, Karari's dream. I think we're going to take our chances and bank him in the pick six. Because when you look at majority of the field, they are fully exposed. Although he's a four-year-old and he started his career late, the average rating is 71 and a 73 that he has been taking on. And after listening to Byron's comments, his comeback effort they were very pleased with. And I think he might have too much ability for this field. So having worked on the treadmill with all the rain about, they've had the luxury of using the treadmill. And that summarizes it for me. So now I'm very bullish about number three, Karari's dream. Trading at around 15 to 10. Banker in the pick six. And I think this is where we can go in our doubles and trebles. After lifting into the stable, number three, Karari's dream will be a solid first selection. Number seven, Noble Warriors. A horse that's worth including, barring his last run when he did have excuses. He ran second to common grounds in his penultimate race. Gets the one and a half kilograms off for Rachel Venica, and I think that could be the exacta horse. And then you got horses like number one, Power Star, who is fully exposed, and number four, Heroic Power, who could run into the money. But all being equal, number three, Karari's Dream. For me, this is going to be the banker bet on the day. And after listening to the comments, they've given us the confidence. Let's have a go and have a bet on the nose. Karari's Dream, and hopefully the dream becomes a reality. Uh, my name's Danny Diliberto, founder of Ladles of Love. It was founded back in 2014. Communities we, s we work with are all over the peninsula and um, we're working with 138 beneficiaries now. We've grown exponentially. Um, we've been able to do that because of all the kindness that we have experienced um, from individuals and corporates such as uh, Interbet. We just want to be part of the change.